Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Parker, and today we're gonna play Pokemon Source. In the last episode, we came to Lancio Town with our dad, learned about Azure's history a bit, chose our starter Riolu because that was our only option. Because I guess it was because I chose Destiny Can Be Changed option at the beginning of the day game. Yep, that might be the reason. So we came here, chose our starter Riolu, and we got ourselves a bit doof. Well, I don't know why, but guess that's gonna be nice stuff to do so we learn about Azure's history and this time we're going to go towards the Eclipse tournament and as you know if you watched the last episode or know the storyline you really don't need those eight badges you usually have to collect you don't have to do that you just gotta get him there where really that was the capital of more city so we're gonna try to get him there so we went through this route yesterday I mean the last episode I really don't know why though, but uh, why I decided not to go further ahead, but I just decided not to. I mean, why not? Alright, so let's just... So I guess this is what the game actually told me about the reviews. They actually have tasks for you. So let's see what uh, this guy has. Ah, hello! I'm sorry to bother you, but you look like a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> anyway, my pity, he wandered away and I can't find him. I've been looking around for him everywhere, but I couldn't find him. Will you help me find my dear Pity? So I guess this is a test. Stuff you can just do it and it does not affect the main storyline. So I guess, yeah, why not? Let's just help this guy find his Pity. So he's somewhere. Okay, there are many people in the Hubis who bumped into problems. Some can you know, solve them, but some need help. The help could be you. By side quests, you can help the people and earn some nice rewards or gifts. Doing them hour is entirely optional and it does not affect the main story at all. Can you help everyone who needs the help? Actually, I don't think so. I can help everyone. Okay, so we could catch a needle ran in here. I mean, be a really nice choice instead of catching a bit doof. Um, I really don't know about it, man. I just don't know about it. So let's just see, man. Even if we are not gonna use a needle king, what's wrong with catching one? So it will a potential needle king in our team is just right over there and if I throw a pokeball at it I'm pretty sure it's gonna get in there and we're gonna catch it. Alright, where's the pokeball stuff? Okay there you go, a pokeball. Let's use a pokeball. Alright, great. We just caught us needle rant man. Yep, you're gonna catch them all. Okay, so this is a needle rant, okay? Give a nickname to the captured needle rant. I mean, what to do, man? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna give it a nickname. I guess it's not gonna be that much of a great name, but uh, why not? We're gonna give it the nickname. Uh, what? Okay, I guess I, uh, something happened. I just named it S. Did I really name it S? Yeah, that's gonna be really bad. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome S the Needle Ran to our team. <laughs> I really don't know why I named it as. My controller was just stuck out there, so I guess... Yep. Having trouble with bugs, always finding you. If, uh, take this my help. Okay, there's a max repel at the start of the game. I mean, that's amazing. I mean, giving off a start for max repel at the start of the game. Oh, okay, I guess there's a battle. I love shorts. I mean, what's wrong with these guys and shorts? If you remember one of the episodes in Hohen Region, there was a guy of wearing a shorts and something on the short soaker something like that man but whatever it was it was stupid gotta say all right then we only use quick all right we're gonna quick him out yeah i think we might faint okay we did and we go to level seven Riolu and mag punch our first fighting type move it's gonna mag all the rotatas away i guess shorts on everything and we got 260 for winning man I, I, I really don't want to do this, but I guess we would really have to go back and heal up a bit, because... Will you heal me up or something? No, I can't. I guess I will have to go back and heal up. I really don't want to, do, but I will meet you at the Alright, so I was on my way to heal my Riolu up, but I see someone is waiting for us. So I thought, why not? Let's just give it a try. So we might just catch a stupid Starly for our team. I mean, yeah, what could go wrong if we have a Starly? Yeah, why not? Let's just throw a Pokeball and see if this is gonna sit in there. 
Oh. Okay, we, we just got a fucking Starly, man. We got a Starly. We got a Starly. That's great. Alright, let's just give it a nickname. Yeah, what are we gonna give it? Uh, we're gonna name him. Uh, what will we actually name him? I don't know about that at all. B, something with a B. Alright, let's just name him. Ball. I mean, why not? It's a nice name and all. Okay. Yeah, what could go wrong with Ball? The Starly. We got Ball on our team, and that's all what I wanted. And now we got a Ball, the Starly, too. So let's just heal up and meet up, okay? Alright, so I just went up and healed up, and as you have seen, I caught ourselves a Ball. I really don't know why I named him Ball, but I told you I'm not a master at naming stuff. And the Ball is level 2. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep them or not. I mean, yeah, this would be a really strong team if all of them evolve, and I guess that's some battle coming up or something. There's a Caterpie of level 2. Okay, this is a battle. A beautiful nature. Okay, this is stupid. Man, Riolo's just crushing through this level learning Metal Claw. I don't know when are we gonna get the EXP share or something. I feel like we should really train up rest of our Pokemons too. So right now we can learn Metal Claw and Steel type move. How much is that gonna make? It's 50. So that's gonna be one of our strongest moves. So let's get rid of Tackle and use Metal Claw for it. What? Okay, I mean... You can't trust Mother Nature always, you know, go. Yeah, she was talking about Mother Nature a lot. There was a level 3 Starly up ahead. I mean, I, I came across a Needle Ran while I got here, man. <coughs> I, I could have, I mean, a female one. Yeah, we could have had a Needle King and a Needle Queen on the same team, but I don't feel there's a lot of variation in it. There's another bug type for you. I feel like I should stand out Starly a bit more. Let's just go with, okay, let's just go with a Metal Claw, right? Yeah, now there's a Mag Punch. Man, this Burmy is just... It's just super bad, man. It's just using Protect every single time. That's not fair. No, that's not what I call a fair fight. Let's just switch in Stolly for an instant, why not? Because Stolly, Ball, Ball can do it. Right. Yeah, let's just train a ball a bit. There's ball. All ball knows is tackle and growl. I mean, yeah, why not? Why not? It's another canopy. This horse is filled up with canopy, so I'll just train a ball a bit and we'll meet up. Alright, so I went ahead and trained up a Pokemon, so now all of our Pokemon are pretty much nice leveled. So right now, Riolu is at level 10, and S is at level 8, Ball is at level 8, and Bidoof is at level 5. So right now, we got all of our Pokemon set up for the next battles, I guess. I mean, they're all pretty nice high level, so... There's a Cliff and I have seen a Cliff this time in this road, but really didn't want to do anything. I don't want to catch a stupid Cliff for an instant. I don't know why. I just don't know why I don't want a Cliff but I just don't want it. So we are just progressing through our adventure through this route and hopefully get that guy his Pidgey. I don't know why he lost his Pidgey in the first place. We are at the next city and we don't want to be here until we find that guy's Pidgey. Oh, there it is. I mean, I don't want to run behind it, so I'm just going to stand in its path. So, probably bump into me. Oh, there you go. Is this Pidgey that boy's looking for? And the Pidgey says, Cuckoo. He seems to be lost and scared. Alright, come with me, little buddy. Alright, we better get this Pidgey back to that guy. I mean, yeah. We just can't have that Pidgey. Anyway, so let's just... I don't want a Pidgey either, because I already have a Starly. I gotta say, I like a Staraptor much more than a Pidgeot. For some more reason. 
So I guess that's why I called myself first to rap Starly instead of a pity. I mean, yeah, both of them weren't the first route itself. I don't know why, but I guess all the Pokemon are there in this region. You found him, thank you so much. And we finished our first quest. Please accept this as a gift. We got a timer ball. Okay, I guess we spent enough time for a timer ball in there. Alright, now let's just run from that beetle. Let's just keep on moving on to the next city. That's of course, we saw that city, right? Yeah, we thought nearly got into that city without finding that guy, his Pidgey. And I really didn't want to leave him alone without finding him, his Pidgey. Yeah, he asked us for help. So we are here at Sovio City, our first ever city we are visiting in this region. What are these guys doing? Vroom vroom, jealous kid. We are the big guys here, the ultimate mortal cycle gang. What a weird gang. Now who are you, man? What are you? This is my partner Rocky, he's the best. Why? It's just a normal This guy is I mean, yep, yeah, the, the, these people are mad. Okay, we shouldn't be going through there. Okay, so wait a minute. Okay. What are you doing here? Oh darling, is this how you welcome back your ex? Didn't you miss me? You know why I'm here? I have finished it. And we're on a test run. You finished what? Oh silly, the Eclipse Project obviously. Asher, things aren't too good son. Maybe you should. Ashy. Mom? How are you doing honey? Are you eating well? How's it going with goals? Uh, how hard? Ask so many things. Leave him alone. Ah, I can't even hug my own son. You're dangerous. I can't let you close to him. Huh. So just because I had balls to finish what you were too scared to? I'm already dangerous. Oh well, if we are this hostile, why don't we get to the main diversion? What, Pidgeys? Those pages, why are they different? Oh no. D don't fight, please. We should try to solve this without including violence. Oh, how sweet of you, but no thanks. Ladies, if you would be so kind. Eek! Stop. Yeah, stop it. Honey, you don't need to flow into our things yet. Yes, I have to if that thing is hurting an innocent person. Son? Out of the way, please, or mom will get angry. Like I would care. Oh, now you did hurt mom's feelings. Well, ladies, target changed, but don't go too hard on him. Just teach him a lesson. Oh, yeah, let's see. You can teach me the lesson which you never taught me in your entire life, as you were too dangerous and I never got to meet you at all. After I was like six. Alright, let's send in our S. I don't know why. Let's just do it. Alright, use focus energy S. So this is one of the first battles with the Ciara Grunts and I don't want to lose one Pokemon in it. I'm gonna use sand attack so his accuracy just fell down. That doesn't matter that much. Let's use Peck. Okay, that didn't do much. Use sand. What is it go doing, man? It just... Okay, I think we're gonna miss a lot of stuff here if it just keeps on using sand attack. Okay, we have not missed a single one of these hits, but I think now we're gonna miss it. Because it has used three sand attacks. Alright, that's great. Just go right now. We can't attack it. It's just gonna use it again and again. It's just like those stupid trainers in other games who just use a bunch of double team and makes you fight and we miss every single attack. So we. Okay, so pretty nice stuff that Needle Ran actually has that poison stuff. I don't know what that ability is. Okay, we hit it. We end up least, so the PG has gone down. Alright. <coughs> we be going. And we're just doing it, we're just blasting through these Ciara guns. What the? Aren't these Pokemon strong? And we got a couple of Poke Dollars for winning. It seems like the test subjects work fine, but, but we still failed. Haha, <laughs> ladies, let's get out of this place. Yes, madam? Alright. Are you alright? You aren't uh, hurt anywhere, are you? No, thanks so much. That was very heroic of you. But please don't jump into action so naively. Your mother is a lunatic. She ordered them to attack you with no hesitation. I know, but I couldn't just stand and watch. Don't worry. But 
if it is Pidgeys, those aren't dangerous, right? You don't see the full picture. If they succeeded with a Pidgey, that means they can do it on other more powerful Pokemon. But what does he want with these modified Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know. My best guess would be to weaponize them. But as we are talking about her, it can be a more twisted and disgusting reason. I'll take care of things, son. You should just focus on your journey. I'll get going down to the Pokemon Center. There's a metro station. Let me meet. Let's meet down there. All right, Dad. Let's just meet down there. So I guess we can just heal up a bit. And there's a man with a quest over there. I mean, we really don't have to. Uh, yeah, I mean, why not? Just, just help that old man over there as we help the young stupid kid to find a stupid pity in a stupid forest. Yeah, we can help an old man. I can't go yet, I have things to do, yeah, I mean, I gonna get to the metro and all. Oh my, what am I gonna do with you? Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer, right? I have a little problem. My macho lost his favorite toy and he become really aggressive. I think he lost it in the Sovio sewers, which is full of Pokemon. Apparently, I'm not a Pokemon trainer, so it would be dangerous for me to wander around there. May I ask you a favor of assistance to find it for me? I mean, why not? Really? Thank you. I really appreciate your help. I accepted that stupid quest of him. I guess this is the sewers or something, right? I guess so. Let's just go down. Okay, this is a metro. There we go. Mm, where are we going? To more city, of course. That's where you can register to the Eclipse tournament. And are we just gonna ignore what happened today? What about those things? Oh, I'm on it, so don't worry so much, but I can tell you on the way. Come on, let's go. Now, what, what's she doing here? It's you again. It's that girl again from before. Was she following me? Nah, it's just a coincidence, right? Is that destiny or something? Oh, it's you again from the city center. What brings you here? Oh, you see, I heard about the tournament and I want to go to the Amor City to qualify. I couldn't myself and fight back there so I want to become stronger and prove myself I don't want to stay a hopeless little girl you know what about oh how rude of me I didn't even introduce myself my name is Walora nice to be here what's your name the name's Asher I'm a I'm Asher nice to meet you Walora and I'm Jackson Asher's father nice to meet you so where are you going to we're going to more city as well also for the tournament. That's great. We can all go together then. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, she's actually kinda nice. And she's going for the tournament too. Does that mean she's competition now? We should get going. She can come with us if she wants to. Yeah, let's not miss the metro. Okay, now what the heck is that? What the what was this? Where did that come from? I'll go and check what's going on. You two should wait here for me. Oh yeah, well let's see that. Hey Valora, you should wait here for us. Us? Didn't he tell you to wait here too? Oh well, yes, but I can't just stand here and wait. I want to help. I see. Then I guess we're going down. We'll try to turn it down. I mean, uh, should we? Maybe not. You have a Pokemon, right? Of course I do. After that incident, I won't take a step without my partner. Good. Let's go then. Yep, we're going with Valora to this... Where well, this place is. It's probably the sewers, right? This is the place. This place is massive. How are we gonna find your dad? Is he gonna be alright? Don't worry, I'm sure he's fine. Come on, let's go and keep following me, alright? I don't wanna look after you too. Don't worry, I'll be like a shadow. I don't think there are shadows in this game. What? Jackson's here? Yes, I managed to lock him inside this little storage room. Get me out of here, you bastards. <laughs> I don't know. How about no, maybe? You stay there until Mary, the mill lady, mill lady arrives. You're gonna regret locking me inside. Oh yeah, we'll see. Let's get around and patrol the area. I'll stay here guarding the door. Alright everyone, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna battle these CR runs now? Probably yes, we're in the sewers. And 
We are battling grunts searching for our dad with a goal. Yeah, what more weird thing can happen? There are Pokemons in this place? I really don't think so, but there's a Poloi on some normal type Pokemon. Let's just peck. And it's a growl. Yeah, let's just maybe just train our Pokemon a bit, because that's what we have to do in this game. So S crew to level 9 and you learn double kick. That's pretty neat. So I guess we have done enough training with S right now. I think we should probably switch out Bull. You might have noticed I'm not given that much attention to Bidoof compared to these two. Because the problem is I really don't like Bidoof that much. I mean, yeah, Bidoof is a pretty nice Pokemon. And B Barrel is pretty nice too. But the problem is, I don't know why, but it kind of looks stupid when compared to these both, man. I mean, Riolu, he has to be my best Pokemon, that's because he's my starter and he's wearing a scarf and destiny, all the kind of stuff you know. Right, let's do one thing, we just continue on and battle these Ciara grunts, maybe? Alright, uh, oh, I see, but I lost my father, he said he will look around down here and didn't return. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, your dad must find, your dad must find and must be looking for you. Dad family from distance, somebody bring help for a lot. Looking for me, huh? More like me looking for him. What do you do? Crap, looks like the easy way didn't work. Well, sorry kid, I gotta do what I gotta do. Alright, uh, let's just battle this stupid Ciara grunts one more time. Seems like this hippo does only knows protect is keeping on doing this. I mean, yeah, these guys really need to grow up a bit. Pidgey. I mean, I really don't have anything else to face it, so let's just go with Stolly. So it's an eclipsed Pidgey, right? That's what you call it, probably, as far as I know. And yeah, you can see there's a symbol over there where it usually represents if it's a male or a female, but right now it's just showing something different. Alright, we just finished that pity off and ball on wing attacks. Our first flying type move for Stolly, a ball. Did I seriously lose like this? Yes, you did, ma'am. So, can I proceed? I should keep going. Dad must be captured somewhere around here. What are these weird Pokemon? They don't look normal at all. Yeah, if you didn't know, those Pokemon are known as Eclipse Pokemon. I just googled it out. What the? What are you doing here? This is supposed to be closed area. Alright, let's just battle this skull too. There's a lit Leo. Let's just use wing attack. I mean, we just... Okay. I didn't expect that. Let's just go with S then. Yeah, I guess you'll be pretty nice Pokemon, right? Okay, double kick really did the job. Let's go to level 10. Play defeated Ciara Grunt. Okay, we just defeated another Ciara Grunt. We're just gonna keep on moving through, I guess. Oh, okay, there's a nugget over there. I want some money in this game, alright? So let's just take some nuggets. Okay, Poochiana would be a really nice Pokemon. We can't escape from here. Let's see what the Bidoof can actually do. I mean, it has not done anything good. But let's see, man. Bidoof up is enough front. I really don't think that's a nice idea at all. I mean, yeah, it's not a nice idea. All I carry be do for right now is for just fainting. I guess it did pretty nice during the training and all, right? So we got a escape rope. Great job. I thought that was gonna be a nugget, but I think that's what uh, they changed the texture for Pokeball laying around, probably. So that's also a Pokeball and not a nugget. And you expect me to just know that the first turn. So that's a poison bomb, and we got a dunce sports. Which is useless, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think so. It's probably useless in these games. It was really useful in the anime. So it's a steel type Pokemon, Kaling. We already have Riolu, which can evolve into a Lucario. So I don't think we need a steel type yet. Okay, Uni Rock Smash, and I don't have that right now. So let's just move through here, probably. And we will reach our destination, maybe. Let's just battle her, too. I mean, yeah, we just gotta go through all of these stupid fools just so that we can reach our own mom. I mean, yeah, it, nothing feels any more weird. Riolu, you're up, man. 
But you'll know when a Riolu gets out, he's just gonna kill it off. Okay, man, this is not gonna move so easily then, I guess. Alright, she's gonna send out a Shinx. I mean, yeah, there's no reason to change the Pokemon or something. Let's go with a Mag Punch or something, yeah. Alright, Riolu grew to level 11. I don't think we need to heal up our Pokemon at all in here, maybe? Even though most of our Pokemon have fainted completely, but uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll, anyway, we'll just reach the Pokemon Center one day or another, right? Let's just battle this uh, Grunt too, so she sends out a Mankey. And the pack should be super effective on it. Yep, it is. And a Poison Point, and that, that really worked out. What was the Pokemon anyways? I just didn't read it. So it's a Skitty. Okay, well that's that. Well, let's go real... Alright, I guess Skitty is a normal type. Right? I thought it was a fairy or a psychic type. I don't know why. And we found a TM48 War Cup. I think that's not that often useful. Why does it run away from this? Okay, now we gotta battle her too. I don't know, man. I really don't know for how long are we gonna last in here. So, Mag Punch does not affect it. Quick Attack does not affect it. Metal Claw. Okay, it, it is not gonna work out. We are probably gonna faint here. Yep, we did. And we are out of useful Pokemon, we went back to a Pokemon Center, so our first ever defeat completely in here. So we have lost our complete team for the first time in this game. Not... I didn't expect that, but alright, alright, then I guess we have to do what we gotta do, you know? We just gonna go keep on looking for our dad in this sewers. I really don't know why he came here to look for him, I mean, did he actually knew there were Ciara Grunts in here or something? You know, we just don't think he just knew there was something up over here and just came in here to just do stuff. What does this lead to? I mean, yeah, let's just check it everything out. I don't know, man. I, I'm just messing around like crazy. Okay, man, this is stupid. There's a lot of Pokemon and I really don't want to use a Max Repel yet. Why are there so many Pokemon around here, man? This is too much! Every five step, there's a new Pokemon out in town. I mean, that's not fair. And there's a Krogum. Well, there's a lot of useful Pokemon in these sewers too, you know. I mean, if you want to add these guys in your team, you can always get to the sewers and look for some Pokemon. What are the ways nicer than to look in the sewers for some Pokemon, you know? Well, it's just... Oh, we didn't actually finish her off, so let's just finish her off this time, I guess. Just wing attack and all, I mean... Okay, she used Minimize. Oh, alright. Stally faded again. I mean, Bob, you're not a stool luck over here, Pally. I guess we're gonna use Pack and finish it off. Great, and S grew to level 11, and we got some... Poké Dollars for winning. Uh, we need to switch Pokémon a bit, I guess. I mean, yeah, Riolu, you're gonna switch out for Ball right now, because Ball is turning out to be useless. I really don't know why. I thought Ball is gonna be a real nice Pokemon to add to our team, but I guess it's not that ready yet. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing here? Don't you know this is private territory? Leave the trash talk, I know my father is held hostage. Where is he? Why should I bother? <laughs> yes, milady? What? The young man's already find it? I see. Alright, we're leaving then. Looks like you won. He is in the back. We gotta leave, so I will leave it to you. Do whatever you want, punk. Who is this young master she was talking about? I mean, young master and milady. Milady is probably Asher's mom and young master, it should be Asher, right? This son, what are you doing here? I told you to stay with Valora. You were missing, so I couldn't just stand around. So we came to find you. I planned on coming along, but she insisted on coming. Sorry, but wasn't it convenient? Oh, yeah. Anyway, what happened exactly? Some Ciara grunts invaded the place. I took care of them and got here. I overheard talking about some young master looking for and finding something. I see. Well, let's get back up. We can discuss this on the way. We just get going then, too. Yeah. We'll probably get going too, let's just go. Can you do me a favor? Um, sure, what is it? 
Tell Dad I'll catch up with you all later. What? Why? That young master, I feel like they still didn't leave. I mean, we didn't meet anyone the way inside besides the grunts. They might still be here. I want to know. I really want... I re I'll really catch up to you later. I'm just looking around a bit. Okay, but please make it quick. I mean, okay. Well, Laura, you really don't have to care about us that much. I just want to find that stupid young master which she was talking about. Cause, yeah, I'm just confused. How could there be a young master than me, you know? And, yeah, how could there be anyway? So, let's just... I really don't know where the hell am I even going. I guess it's the right way because I see a door base type of stuff. Okay, there's nothing. Okay, this is gonna be a pain in the neck to find out where the hell is the way without a TM flash. I mean, okay. We will just roam around like crazy. I mean, a Ghastly is a pretty nice Pokemon to have. A ghost type is always coming in handy. Because this is where you can find all the ghost types. Alright, just see what it is. Again, a stupid crime of the woods in here, man. Okay, well, there you go. Somebody is here. Great, I finally found this too. Now it's complete. With this, I can finally do it. <laughs> She'll be so happy if it actually works as she wanted. You, are you the young master? What the? Didn't your parents teach you not to evade drop? Who the hell are you? My name isn't important. Are you with Ciara? What do you have to do with them? Ciara, huh? Why are you asking that in the first place? What do you have to do with it? Maybe I should not reveal my and speak unbreakable connection to Ciara. My friend had a little incident with them. A friend, you say? <laughs> How silly. You would get in trouble for just a friend. What a stupid way to behave. There are no real friends and having any is for the weak and naive. Who can stand on their own? They drag you down, never respect you and backstab you whenever it is beneficial to them. Is that what you're telling? What you're standing up for? Oh well. I'm sorry, but you seem to know too much. I can't let you get away like this. What? I... I lost? <laughs> know your place, peasant. Hey, I'm not peasant. I, I didn't got to battle you too. He just battled on himself and lost. He didn't have me. That's a problem. Wait. I only have three questions to ask. What's your name? What? was with that gibble and what did you find that completed which whatever it is my name is Frio remember that name well because you will never win against me and my gibble for now settle with me only saying eclipsing and what I found is something you wouldn't understand yet just who is this guy ah crap I should rush back to dad and Valora I guess so and we still have not found that stupid toy of that stupid Joke, right? Yeah, we still have that side quest to do. you right. I mean, I might catch a Ghastly or something, but I feel like we already have too many Pokemons on our team. I really didn't have these many Pokemons in any other games at the start of the game, you know. I mean, yeah, they just give you a lot of nice Pokemon at the start so that you can just build your team at the beginning. Hey, man, is there his toy in here or something, man? I'm going to really appreciate it. I don't think so then. I'll just get out through here and let's just walk out of here, man. I don't think there's any toy in this place at all. Let's just get out. I mean, there's nothing else to do in here. I guess we'll just reject that guy's request, maybe. What is this place now? Okay, so this is where we came in from. So there may be a slight chance we're gonna find this guy's toy or something. Okay, we found a nugget, so this time it is a nugget. Is here his toy here, man? Nope, there's no toys in here, man. Where did that stupid macho come into the sewers in the first place, man? Why? If that guy was not a Pokemon trainer, how could his macho come in here? There's, I'm just so much confused. There's a lot of questions in my mind which needs answering. Is this that? Okay, we found the stupid lost toy, which is kind of like a Clefairy, it might be a stuffed toy too. Let's just get out, maybe, because I guess our job here is done. Alright, we are out of that stupid place with a lot of ghost type, now let's just get out of here, alright? I mean, 
and there's a back. I don't know which way did I came in from anyways. Okay, this is not the way. This is not the way. Yeah, I don't really get it. Why do all the Pokemon just jump on you every single time you walk? I hate it. I just hate the spawn rate of this game. At least I guess that's what you call it. Encounter rate. Yeah, that's what you call it. Man, it's just stupid. A lot of Pokemon just pops up on you and most of them are really nice and good Pokemon. And every one of them are, but uh, some are my favorites in these. Then Sports is not one of them. I really don't know yet why I caught that stupid Bidoof in the first place, but I guess, yeah, we could have a Bidoof, I mean, why not? I mean, there are pretty nice Pokemon and pretty nice levels in this game, which just tempts me to catch it even more now. Is this the way we came in from in the first place? I mean, I think so. Let's get out of this mess, man. We are at a big... Sewers, whatever it is. Let's just give this toy back to that old man with the mud choke. I mean, just, I kept, all right. You found it. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you so much. Please accept this as my gift. You got a stupid black belt. What am I gonna do with it? Enter a karate class or something? I guess all my Pokemon are fully healed right now, right, man? I mean, we lost to that Frio kid as he told us. I really don't believe it yet, but... Yeah, why not? Let's just talk to our dad now. I mean, yeah, he told us to come along. I'm here, sorry to make you to wait. Where the hell were you? Well, Laura told me you were catching up later. But what could you possibly do? I found that young master. His name is apparently Frio, and he also had one of the weird Pokemons. Dad, I seriously need answers now. He said come something about eclipsing and com completing something? I honestly didn't understand a thing of it. Alright, I'll tell you everything on the way, okay? It's time for you to know the truth. Let's go. Okay, I guess we'll go in a line. Uh, okay, let's just go. So we are in the metro. I think we should take seats. This is gonna be a long journey. Alright, let's just sit somewhere over here, man. I guess it's time I'll tell you briefly what's happening. Alright, let's know finally. Back when I was still part of Sierra with your mother, we worked on a project. A scientific breakthrough which could change the course of history. Have you ever heard of the eternal eclipse? It was an anomaly which spoke people in Hubus thought to be no more than a legend, a myth. To put it short, it was documented as a lunar eclipse followed by a solar eclipse around 300 years ago. But this wasn't a normal string of events. It resulted with Pokemon shifting and transforming left and right. They became violent and unstable, which we managed to scientifically replicate. We call this eclipsing. However, it wasn't perfect. So Pokemon couldn't handle the substance that starts the shift. And some became uncontrollable. With this, I came to realization the Pokemon we experimented on, they were put through so much suffering and I realized eclipsing is true peril. Honey... Are you sure about this? I know this is to help us research ultimate domination, but don't you think this is maybe too much? Aren't we messing with nature? Too much, you say? What the hell are you wobbling about? You're starting to get weirder and weirder every day. When you become so conscious and caring about the world? It's not that. But we have a thought and we are cooking up some chemicals to make Pokemon disregard nature. What he's playing up there, we are playing God and possibly developing something we should not. This is too much risk, Mary. We got to stop. If not for us, then for Asher. Jack, we can't do that. We are so close to finding the secret to eclipsing. Soon we might be able to make devices that can eclipse Pokemon and turn them back. If you finish that, there will be no risks. I'm not stopping this. I can do this to Asher. I'm not letting him be in danger with our stupid delusions. What are you gonna do? Are you that worried about Asher? Obviously, if I wouldn't be sure this, I would be worried too. But you're a whole new level. I'm leaving. What, Jack? What are you talking about? I'm leaving, and Asher comes with me too, to be safe. I can put him out to your delusions. I'm sorry. But I can't do this anymore. This is too much. So that's how they separated Jack. So this is what happened. 
and this is what that Frio talked about. It seems like she carried on with the project and succeeded. Looks like we have a raid to the Amor City. So we are the capital of Amor City of the Hubus region. Right, we are exiting the place. Ha! Ah, here are the... Ha! Ah, here we are at last. Let's go, your dad is waiting for us down the main lobby. Oh, let's just go, man. Let's just meet up with the dad and just see what's going on around here. Oh man, this is a huge place, man. A more city is pretty huge. The atmosphere is always tipsy in here. Skill trainers always make sure to make everyone pumped up. Oh, there's a lot of people in there. Well, here we are. A more city's battle center. Well, I can see all these characters from all these different games. You know, Barry, Don, Lucas. And Riley, Rourke, and the other guys who I forgot the name of. Yeah, I know those guys from the Johto region, but I forgot their name. Riley, I remember the green girl. Yeah, she was in the Pokemon game. I played them. I played that one. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of main characters in there. Well, there are so many people. Yeah, I see so many trainers. It's a worldwide tournament after all. But yeah, it seems like even giant a lot of attention. They all look like experienced trainer. Looks like competition is gonna be interesting. Hello, you two are here, also here for the Eclipse tournament, right? Yes, we would like to register. Wait, I'll need some time, papers, and we're done. All right, we're done. You two are officially registered to the Eclipse tournament. We'll contact you through your phone numbers when you need to show up for the active round. Good luck, Asher, Valora. Thank you. Great, you two are all set up. Yes, we will be contacted when you show up for the first round. That's great. Well, good luck, son, and good luck to you as well, Laura. May the strongest trainer win. Before I forget, Professor Ivo asked me to tell you that she wants to meet you in Assault Town. I told her about the events in Sovio, and she wants to talk to you in person. The best would be if you would head back to Sovio with the Metro and advance route through. Oh, you'll need this. We got the metro pass. That's great, Dad. With this, you can use the Hubis metro line and travel around easily. I will now head back to work. Give me a call if something's up. So you gotta go to Asphalt Town now. Yeah, Miss Avo's dad's friend wants to talk about me about something. I see. Well, uh, can I come too? Traveling is always better with people you are close with, you know. All right, let's just get going then. We should catch a metro. Oh, there's that Frio kid. You again? Frio, what brings you here? Oh, I have some moron. The egg tournament, of course. Oh, don't tell me you're registering too. A weakling like you. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? Is this noising your girlfriend or something? Teach her how to behave. What you do? So you, you're entering as well, huh? May I know the name of who I'll mop the floor with? The name's Asher, and if you ever talk to her like that, I won't be so nice. <laughs> like I care, out of my way, pest. Who the hell is that prick? Do you know him, Asher? He's the young master, and don't even bother, he's just a jerk, come on, let's go. Alright, so I guess that will be it then, let's just save the game. And we already played for 12 hours. So ladies and gentlemen, I guess that was where I'm gonna leave this then. So in today's episode, we did a lot of stuff and it's already 40 minutes. So I guess we shouldn't push it too further now. So in the next episode, we'll be continuing from here. So till then, it's me Sparker signing off.